Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Library of Arena. So, uh, before today's episode started, as you can see, I am in the menu, uh, I did go through and give them all some passives. I did not change Henry's. Uh, Henry still has the same ones. So, I kind of tried to tailor them to what I wanted them to be able to do. And I think I did an okay job of that. Um, I do actually want to go back through and redo all of Rachel's cards, though. So we're going to do that real quick before, before we get too far into things. I want to have two of these. Okay, I want one of these, two of those, one of these, one of these. And this is how Rachel's hand is going to look. We're going to save this as Rachel 2. We're going to save this as Rachel 1. We're never going to use Rachel 1 again. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we're good to get into this, but first we're gonna read some lore, some sweet, sweet lore, because, uh, well, we're kinda, kinda lacking behind a little bit, aren't we? I believe we did all of these. Yes, we did. Okay, I was also told that, uh, apparently Lulu's friends pages two and four are also just repeats of these, so we don't actually need them. With that in mind, we're not gonna, we're not gonna wait around to get them, because we're just gonna jump into this. Not, wow, they're just starting to pile up, aren't they? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we need to get on this a little bit. So we're going to do uh, Streetlight Office. Uh, we're going to save that for tomorrow. We're going to save it for tomorrow. It's fine. All right, here we go. So we got Mars Page up first. My mother was a fixer with a high grade that every one of my peers would dream of reaching. She was the envy of all, a radiant individual who received endless supplies of various expensive equipment and garnered constant recruit offers from other offices. Does that mean I had a safe, comfortable childhood under the care and wealth of such a wonderful person? Had that been the case, I would have earned a position in one of the wings already. Being the son of a high rank fixer, I was often targeted by syndicates opposing her, and my mother's acquaintances held high expectations for me. At first, I was okay with their expectations. I was already dreaming to follow the path of my mother. In fact, I was hoping to live up to it and hear compliments such as, I knew you could make it, from others. Yes, I'm going to become a great fixer just like my mother. Then she'll be proud of me one day, right? She'll proudly say, that's my boy, in front of others. I studied hard day after day, taking no breaks in between. Countless times I held my sword with strong resolve, and many days I spent weeping alone. Even if I faced setbacks and failures, uh, okay. Even if I faced setbacks and failures, I believed I could overcome them and stand strong like the protagonist of a movie, as if I could actually, as if I could actually be someone great. But in the end, I grew into an ordinary aspiring fixer and I learned that I was only an average person with no talent to show off. When I entered an ordinary office with my ordinary capabilities, my mother seemed very glad to hear the news. She said an associate fixer of this why is a good start, and I'll certainly be able to become successful if I work my way up slowly. However, I was greatly disappointed in myself, and I couldn't look my mother in the eyes until I said my final goodbyes and left the house. Unfortunate for you, bro. Uh, okay, well, here's Lulu. Ugh, crap. Another day without work. Fantastic. There's got to be some case for us all to take care of. Like fly tipping or something? I'm going to forget how to move at this rate. If I told my friends about this, they're gonna they're so going to whine like, well, isn't it a good thing that you have a lot of free time? Or, you're well off. We're about to starve from the lack of requests. Those dummies. Think about it for a moment. You need results to promote to better fixer grades and see some growth in your office, right? And that's going to lead to higher income for us. For now. I'm... Oh. For now, I'm working. I'm working with my boss, Son, and some dork shaped like, uh, and some dork shaped like a ball of rice cake. But things could be better than this in the future, yeah. It's not like I have problems with my coworkers. I'm talking about stuff like weapons and office interior. You know, those kinds of things. You get what I mean. I do bicker with Mars and snap at him often, yes. But that doesn't mean I hate him. Saint and Mars are both precious colleagues to me. Though, yeah, I know what you're about to say. 
If it could develop private feelings for each other, it could be much harder to bear whatever happens down the line. I know what I'm doing is stupid. I have wits, unlike Master or unlike Mr. Rice Cake Face. But we're humans. It's just something that can't be helped. How can we just strictly detach ourselves from one another and focus on work? I tried acting nonchalant. I did, but I guess I can't do it. Son said he feels the same. I gotta envy Marge for being cool-headed all the time. A peacekeeping office provides protection for requested territories from a certain period of time. Blue loses one of those offices. Uh, what are they protecting against, you ask? The city, obviously. What I'm saying is, their job is to keep the area safe from all sorts of happenings and incidents that occur in the city. Of course, there won't be much to do if the area is too small or peaceful. But, man, compared to us compared to us who have to wait indefinitely for someone to make a request, Lulu's living a good life. At least she does something. They don't have to worry about starving to death even if they don't ha even if they don't get any requests. As her friend, it's unfortunate that Lulu is struck with grief. I don't have any tears to shed for her though. I've got my share of rough experiences. I'm just not sharing it with others. Well, I did say I'll help her out. But the truth is, my office figured that we could find plenty of valuable loot in the library, and that's pretty tempting. The other one is probably thinking the same as me. I mean, what dummy would actually have what dummy would actually head to such a dangerous place motivated purely by a friend's sob story? That kind of intimate and deep relationship is long gone from this world, especially in this business. That's why I can't understand Lulu. Sure, let's say let's say her colleague died there. Even then, she should be valuing her own life, shouldn't she? She can't be she can be so stupid at times. Well, I have to go with her anyway. An associate fixer is one that is in a cooperative relationship with one of the associations. The advantage of this designation is that its fixers will not have to worry about starving, since they are paid a stable salary. Stable, <laughs> stable salary, <laughs> stable salary, and that the office simply has to handle tasks given by the association with proficiency, rather than having to deal with clients and accept their requests as ordinary offices do. It's many days without any incident happening in the area designed for peacekeeping can be admittedly boring. Though, it's a blessing to have such a peaceful day in the city. I was grateful to have such serenity each day, reasoning with Lulu's occasional complaints. Is boredom the only downside of being in associate office? That's not quite true, because we're under the direct command of the association. We're forced to take on any undesirable tasks they give, even if it carries the risk of wiping out the office. I can't blame the association, so I only have myself to fault for failing to save my guys. Quite disappointing, my friend. Uh, but you know what? That's what happens. No, I don't. I don't care about the story. Uh, let's. Okay. So I was told outskirts are the easier of the of the bunch, and that the inside is a little bit harder. But that's why we're going to do the inside. <laughs> uh, why you might be asking? Well, quite simple. Harder challenge equals better loot. That's my mindset. What is this? I hate it already. Salutations, everyone. Let us begin with today's worship session. It appears that we have a new worshiper. What concerns have you brought here to our oratory? I don't think I can continue living in this city anymore. It's too much for me. What could have overwhelmed you so much? Everything is so dreary, and so is my life. I wake up at 6 in the morning, go to work by 8, and do the same work with the same face every single day. Alright, admittedly he does have a pretty shit schedule. By the time I leave work, it's already 10 in the evening. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. I have so many expenses to cover every single month. I can't seem to get any richer. Everyone I see during my commute has the same face. I don't see why we work, why we earn money, or why we live. I feel like I've lost my goal, my purpose. I'm just like a cogwheel. 
정말 그래요. 그냥 톱니바퀴 같은 삶을 살고 있어요. Yeah, I really am. I'm living like a cog in the machine. 이 도시에서 저런 부품이 없어져도 그새 새로운 톱니바퀴를 찾아 갈아끼겠죠. Even if I were gone, this city would soon find another cog to replace me. 전 뭐일까요? 저의 존재 가치는 What am? 어디에 있는 okay. 것일까요? What am I? Where does my worth lie? 그 마음 이해한답니다. I understand that feeling. 도시 모두가 목적 없이 굴러다니는 톱니와도 같죠. Everyone in the city is like a gear spinning along without a purpose. 그곳 한복판에 있으면 마모되어 가는 거예요. 점차. Staying in the middle of it wears you out. Slowly. 맞아요. 정말 그래요. You're right. I really feel like that. 하지만. However. 꼭 톱니바퀴가 나쁜 것일까요? Is it necessarily a bad thing to be a gear? 네. Huh? 문제는 우리 스스로 톱니바퀴가 아니라고 부정하는 거예요. All problems stem from the refusal to admit that the fact that we are all indeed gears ourselves. 저도 그랬답니다. I did too once. 아버지를 잃고 방황하던 때가 있었어요. After my father passed away, I lost my way for a while. 아버지도 톱니와도 같은 삶을 살아오셨거든요. You see, my father lived his life akin to a gear wheel. 내 같은 시간에 일어나서 같은 표정으로 그리고 같은 곳에 갔다가 같은 시간에 돌아오고. He'd always wake up at the same hour, go to the same place, and come home at the same time with the same face. 아버지는 톱니에 대해 연구하시는 분이셨어요. My father did research on gears. 바로 당신과 같은 문제를 해결하기 위해서였답니다. His goal was to solve the same type of problems you're going through. 한 가지 물건만 보게 되면 그 물체를 담는 걸까요? Perhaps he unknowingly grew to resemble the single object he studied for so long. 이를 할수록 아버지의 이마에는 마치 톱니의 이 같은 주름이 깊어졌고. The wrinkles on his forehead deepened as he worked. They resembled the teeth of a gear. 그렇게 아버지는 끝까지 도시에 녹이 낀 톱니인 채 누군가에게 살해당해 생을 마감하셨죠. My father lived out his whole life as a rusted gear of the city until he was murdered by someone else. 저는 생각했답니다. Then one day I came across a thought. 우리는 사실 도시의 톱니인데. Maybe we really are gears that constitute the city. 우리의 존재를 부정했기 때문에 고통스러운 것 아닐까? Maybe our suffering comes from trying to deny our own identity. 하지만 그런 삶에는 의미가 없잖아요. 목적 없이 숨만 쉬며 하루하루 굴러갈 뿐인 톱니라니. How much you want to bet this guy's getting thrown in the chair? <laughs> How much you want to bet? She's not going to like what he says and she's going to throw him in the chair over there. But that kind of life is pointless. I'm tired of being a purposeless cog that keeps running day by day. 그거랍니다. Exactly. 목적 없는 톱니인 것이 문제랍니다. The problem is that you see yourself as a nameless gear. 톱니바퀴에도 목적이 있다는 것인가요? You mean gears can have a purpose? 예, 그럼요. Yes, of course they can. 저마다 태어난 목적에 맞게 굴러가면 되는 거랍니다. All we need to do is to find the purpose we were born to mesh with. 당신만이 될수 있는 톱니바퀴가 필요한 거예요. You shall become a unique gear that cannot be replaced by any other. 우리는 모두 톱니바퀴. We are all gears. 다만 어디서 어떻게 굴러가야 할지 몰라. 슬퍼하는 톱니바퀴가 많을 뿐이랍니다. There are simply so many gears in this world wallowing in sadness, for they have yet to know when and how to be. 그건... That's... 그건 믿을 수가 없어요. It's still hard to believe that... 여기 계신 분들을 보세요. Take a look at all of the people gathered here. 당신이 평소에 보았던 도시의 사람과 같은 표정인가요? Do they have the same faces as the ones you've seen in your everyday life? 아니요. 다들... No, they all look happy. Please, trust in me. 네. 전 이건 말고는. Well, we found the cult section of the game. Yes, this is the only way I have. 자, oh God, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Now, come up here. I will give you the purpose in life you're looking for. 
You, he's a... I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> he's gonna die. He's, what's gonna happen to him? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do I sit on this chair? <laughs> yes, take a seat and relax. This chair will tell you what kind of gear you are. <laughs> is this really safe? Of course it is. Oh my, you turned out to be a thought gear. A thought gear? It is exceedingly rare for one to be bestowed with the purpose of a thought gear, you see. They are helping me even now. For your information, my father was also a thought gear. Oh, I see where this is going. That means those gears on the back of your head are... Yep. The gear maker. This one is my father. He always provides me with his wisdom about life. Besides, meat gears need to keep company with at least one thought gear. Wait, wait, am I really going to turn into a gear? Oh. <laughs> Bad boys and girls get the gear chair. The pain is only temporary. It will soon be followed with pure fulfillment. Oh Everyone, let us welcome the honorable and invaluable arrival of a new thought gear. Oh my god. Wait, wait. I didn't know this would happen. As the gears turn, so too does life fulfill its cycle. So that's Eileen, cult leader of the Church of Gears. I've seen all kinds of gears in my life, but thought gears are new to me. This must be the rumored ritual of theirs. They get smarter by plugging gears on the back of their heads, apparently. That's a load of horse shit. Alright, let's see. Director Yujin from the Shi Association asked us to... Kill ten leader worship kill ten worshippers of the church, neutralize its leader and secure her. I didn't I didn't quite expect the director of Shi Association Section 2 to personally give our office a request. Something strange might be up. How long are we gonna sit and watch that? Can't we start shooting now? Wait for my sign. Ah, what a beautiful thought gear you have become. I will give you the honor of accompanying me. You shall soon understand how happy it is to be a gear with a purpose. Yes, it may take some time to adjust. Let us start with turning bit by bit. Good. Okay. Good. Along with the others, gently rotate, one cycle at a time. My father will gladly help you out. See? It does make you feel happy, doesn't it? I am very glad to know you are happy. 
오늘도 길 잃은 톱니 한 분이 행복의 길을 가고 있습니다. My dear followers, today another lost gear has found its way to happiness. 두팔 벌려 아버지께 감사를. Praise be to father. 감사해. Praise be. 네? 조심하라고요. Huh? What do you mean, be careful? 지금이야. 뭐죠? Uh oh. 무슨 일이죠? 이게? What? What is going on? 톱니들이. 톱니 분들이. The gears. The poor gears. 이러지 마세요. 누구신지는 모르겠지만 제발 저희를 내버려 두세요. Please don't do this. Whoever you are, please leave us alone. 저희는 부여된 삶에 따라 행복하게 살고 싶을 뿐인데. We simply wanted to live a happy life following our destined purposes. 저 교주란 녀석. 무일을 맞추기가 힘들어. Ah, why is their slippery leader so hard to hit? 본인의 의지로 피하고 있는 것 같지 않군. She doesn't seem to be dodging our bullets with our with her own reflexes. 마치 궤적을 예측하는 것 같아. It's as if something else is predicting the trajectories for her. 저 생각 톱니라는 게 미친 듯이 돌고 있어. Those thought gears on her head are spinning like crazy. 미치겠네. 탄환 가격이 얼만데? Damn it, this sucks. We paid an arm and a leg for these bullets. 다마키. 톱니가 돌아가는 패턴만 읽으면. 다마키. Think we can read the movement pattern of those gears? 가능해. Can do. Rip. 어깨에 빗 맞았어. Or not. Raised her shoulder. 내가 마무리한다. I'll finish her off. Logic Atelier Tanwan. A bullet crafted by a tele uh a atelier. I'm gonna say atelier. A bullet crafted by atelier logic. 친구들 없는 영편에 돈 많이 썼네. Why, those are some expensive bullets you have there, don't you, friends? 푸른 자냥. The blue reverberation. 당신 아 아버지께서 줄고 저에게 말씀하신 분이 바로 당신인가요? Ah, could you be the person my father always talked about? Hmm, 그런가 봐. Hmm, I guess. 나 당신이 필요한데 나와 같이 가줄 수 있겠어? Say, I need you right now. Would you like to come with me? 네, 그럼요. 저런 톱니는 줄곧 당신을 기다린 걸요. Yes, of course. I've been waiting for you my whole life. A perfect fit with the gear that is me. Gomawa. Oh, why, thank you. And. No, you don't. Usan, Chachingudel, but. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the guy from the opening, <laughs> from the opening montage is not gonna die to these guys. But first, these friends need some attention. Pluto? Aileen, do you want to Pluto, could you look after Aileen in the meantime? Tomacha. Run. 뭐가 어떻게 된 거야? 푸른 잔향이 왜 여기 있는 건데? The hell is going on? Why would the blue reverberation be here? 나도 몰라. 젠장. 적구를 보아하니 우리를 죽이려 들겠군. No idea. Damn it. it. Looks like he's trying to kill us. 이 일이 실패하면 돈을 벌기는 커녕 타는 값으로 다 날린다고. If we screw this job up, we're going to be bankrupt from all the bullets we've wasted. 아까 봤잖아. 푸른 잔향이 탄원을 튕겨내는 거. You literally just saw the blue reverberation deflect our bullets. 우리가 어떻게 볼수 있는 상대가 아니다. 지금은 이대로 도망쳤어. 목숨이라도 남겨야 해. We're no match for him in any way. Forget about anything else. We should run away and survive for now. 곧 입구야. 안녕 친구들. I always skip her lines. Oh well, sucks to be you guys. Hi, your friends. 대체 누가 이런 안증맞은 의뢰를 한 걸까? 젠장. Oh. 왼쪽으로 뛰어. Ah hell, to the left. Let's see. Ah, 이렇게 느려서야 어디 써먹을 수나 있겠어? Ah, oh, you're not getting anywhere with those sluggish feet, don't you see? 어디선가 너희를 구해줄 동아줄이라도 내려오지 않으려나? Unless a lifeline were to come down from the heavens, that is, no? Ah, uh, invitation. 총을 버려야 하나? Damn it. Maybe we should drop our guns. 미쳤어? 이게 얼만데? Are you nuts? These were hella expensive. 절대 못 버려. We're never throwing them away. 언제까지고 숨어 있을 수는 없어. But we can't hide forever either. Liwei, 이거. 
Li Wei, this is. How do I know? What's that? An invitation? From the library or whatever? Heard that the Hanna designated as an urban plague now. Ah, look at you. All clustered together in your corner. You're like a flock of cute little chicks gathered round in the cold. Blue reverberation. We apologize if we interrupted your business. Uh, yes. The diplomat. We promise to forget about anything else we've seen and heard here. So, could you let us go? What? No. Okay, under one condition. Can you tell me who gave you this request? I'll give you 10 seconds. Cool. Nine? <laughs> ah, whatevs. Luai, do something with that invitation thing. You? Six? Anyone got a pen? We need something to sign the paper with. Oh, ah, you can use mine. Take your time now. Or <laughs> Crazy bastard. Quick, sign your names here. Three. Oh. Now, the real show is only beginning, wouldn't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, I need a voice for him. Hmm. But of course. <laughs> the blue reverberation. That name sounds familiar. Okay. That name sounds similar to the Red Mist. He got that right. Both of them are top grade fixers that received a color from the Hanna Association. They're a cut above grade one. It's curious that such a capable fixer showed up so early. There are lots of nutcases among fixers, but the blue reverberation is on a whole nother level. He's a certified lunatic. Is he famous? Oh, he is. He certainly got skills, even if he is bonkers. He does appear to be skilled, seeing as how he blocked those gunshots. That's why guns aren't used too often. They're not very effective against. Oh, they're not very effective against actually competent opponents. 확실히 지금까지 방문한 손님들 대부분은 총기류를 사용하지 않았어. 왜 uh, 사용하지 okay. 않는 거야? Now that you mention it, the majority of guests we've had so far didn't carry firearms. Is there any other reason guns aren't used? 비싸거든. 정말 비싸. 그래서 비효율적이고. It's the cost. They're awfully expensive. It's just not worth it most of the time. 총도 총대로 비싸지만 저 불쌍한 녀석들 말대로. <laughs> like those <laughs> guns are pretty pricey on their own, but bullets are plain ridiculous. Like those poor folks said. Manufacturing bullets must be quite costly. That's true, of course. The biggest factor, though, is the tax the head levied on firearms. 총의 종류마다 다르겠지만. It depends on the gun. But two full magazines worth of bullets cost almost about the same as a decent gun. Heck, giving your entire office crew augmentation procedures is probably cheaper than keeping enough bullets in stock for them to use. 성능에 따른 효율로 보자면 말도 안 되는 거라고. 자연스럽게 총과 탄환을 제작하는 공방도 찾아보기 힘들고. The cost is so high, it outweighs the benefit by a metric ton. And it's hard to find a workshop that treats guns or bullets. What's more, workshops aren't even allowed to craft those without a firearms manufacturing license. 
which is apparently very tricky to get. What do you think the reason is for firearms being made so inaccessible? This is just my hunch, but I think they don't want killings to happen too easily. Killing what? People in general. I didn't quite expect the rulers of this city to be humanitarians. Ah, Oh, not because they had in the city value human life or anything, obviously. It seems like they have this weird philosophy that the process of a human killing another shouldn't be trivial or insignificant. How funny. Death can be plenty insignificant, even without guns. Well, you aren't wrong there. Phew, <sighs> he's not following us all the way here. It's as if some omniscient person is toying with us. The blue reverberation seemed like, to me, seemed like he knew everything. We should be thankful that we survived him somehow. Stefan. <sighs> Don't get too nervous, Stefan. How can I not be nervous? We ended up in the library we know almost nothing about. You know we're almost out of bullets, right? Uh, what was the point of running away from the blue reverb if we're gonna die here anyway? Then we at least should try to die a bit later, obviously. Humans all die eventually. There's little use in delaying the inevitable. Hmm. See, he's got a point. Don't worry, I'll work it out. Greetings, dear guests. 안녕하세요. 곧 죽어서 당신의 책이 될 예정인 스테판입니다. Hello. I'm Stefan. Soon to be dead and shelved into your bookcases. 이 손님은 기운이 없으시네요. 책이 될지 책을 얻으실지는 손님에게 달려 있답니다. You don't quite appear to be spirited, dear guest. It's ultimately up to you whether you'll become a book or return triumphantly with the book with the ones you need. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks for the kind words. You're ruining our mood. Don't mind him. We're in a bit of a hurry right now. We'll just take care of the business. We'll just take care of the business here and go back. I understand. Various guests visit here with their own reasons and purpose. There have been much more impolite guests, so please do not worry about your attitude. I'm getting a bad feeling about this lady. She seems just as eerie as the blue reverb. Maybe just dying to the blue reverb was a better idea than this. Tweet, tweet, tweet. What are you, a parrot? Get inside already. Fine, hothead. May you find your book in this place. Alright, well, I'm not worried about this one, I don't think. Uh... 58, 55, a lot of gun attacks. They just exhausted on use. Uh, that is the only one that is exhausted on use. Nope, it's not. Interesting. Uh, so they can run out of cards. So basically what I'm reading is, uh, <laughs> if we can just stay alive for a little while, then we don't have to worry about staying alive for the rest of this, huh? Well, 
I suppose it's time to get in. All right, well, oh, let's go for it. You guys did not roll well. Mm. I like our odds. I mean, actually, I guess you have to. Two, three. Oh my god, six to twenty. Six to twenty. Okay, well, I mean, I guess you have to, don't you? And, yep, alright. Oh boy. I think we got it. Okay. I think we got it. That was rough. That was a little bit rough. Man, it's already starting to come in handy. Recover two HP at the start of each thing. Man. Okay. We don't want to use that yet. Um, well, actually... Well, no, I mean, we don't. Okay. Uh, what is this? One to six. Four. One to eight. Um, well, I'd rather go with the one to six, then. Oh, yeah, it's right, but you are not going to be able to, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Sure. And you're going to come over here and put the beat down on him. Yep, go for it. Stop shooting Malkuth. I mean, overall, this fight's not going terrible. It's just not great. <laughs> um, Henry. Henry had a couple high, high costs that he couldn't use. Yeah. Not a bad one to uh, have it on. Not my preferred, though. Okay. Three to four. Go ahead and... Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Rachel, I got some bad news for you here. You have so much energy right now. Henry has, like, a nothing. That's fine. Um, but I want you doing it with... Well, actually, no, that one's fine. Yeah, that one's okay. All right, Malkuth. Get him. Get him. Yikes. She might get stunned right here. Oh, just barely. He just barely made it out of there without getting stunned. I appreciate that. Oh, boy, this might be it for you. Oh, good job, Rachel. Good job. Okay. Whoever gets hit, I want this. And I'm probably going to give it to Rachel. She's about to get hit a lot. Oh, you're done. Goodbye. Everybody, <laughs> you know the plan. We'll worry about clashes afterwards. Who is clashing? You don't actually have a clash going on. 5 to 12. We might actually want to give this to Rachel. And you're clashing with Malkuth. 2 to 4. Malkuth, you're going to lose this one. Uh, that's just kind of how that be. Okay, well, that was fun. Oh, boy. Get him, Henry, get him. Good job, team. Good job. I like the I like the hustle. Rachel's gonna get a hell of a lot. Uh, I'm hoping she doesn't die. Deflect and go for big damage, I guess, Henry. That's all you can do right now. You are out of cards. Okay. Okay. Well, Henry, it's up to you. It's one person left. If you can keep keep the team alive until we get this guy, we're fine, and I think we'll I think we'll be able to do that. Look, throw everything that we've got.
Good deflect. You are dead. Congratulations. I hope it was worth it. Hope it was worth it. Okay. Let's go. Got some books. Stepan이라는 친구는 결국 책이 되었군. That Stepan fellow turned into a book just as he expected. 저 정도로 마지막까지 세상을 탓하다니. 오히려 안쓰럽네. It's kind of sorry to see him keep railing at the world till the end. 세상을 탓하는 것이 잘못이라고 생각해? Do you think it's wrong to blame the world? 충분히 탓할 수 있지. 자신의 불행에 대한 책임을 세상에 떠넘기는 마음이 약해 보여서 안쓰럽다고 한건 아니야. Oh no, nothing's wrong with that. It's not like I think he was weak-willed for putting the blame on this world for his miseries. 나도 그 세상에 사는 게 안타까워서 그렇지. 애써 세상을 탓하지 않으려는 내가 안쓰러워서. It's just that I pity myself for living in that same world. I'm sorry that I keep trying not to fault this world. 난 세상을 저주해. I curse this world. 나도 그래. Same, to be honest. Oh, all right, well. Uh, okay, well, there's one of the books that we needed. There's another one of the books we needed. Uh huh. Boy, we have like none to uh, none to expend though, do we? We'll have to do that fight a couple of times. I really don't want to. I'm not gonna do it right now, but just in general, that is something that we'll need to have. Ah. <sighs> I'm scared. Ah, today's performance isn't going too well. Oink, Oink, you gotta keep the beat. District Nine is the sacred ground for music. It's the homeland of the pianist. Ah, Come on, man. I'm doing my best here. 혹시 히우가 했던 말이 아직도 신경 쓰여? Are you still bothered by what he ha said? 어떻게 신경을 안쓸 수가 있냐? Of course I am. 도서관에 가면 더 이상 연주를 못할 수도 있다고. This might be our last performance ever if we go to the library. 신나는 음악 속에서 다 털어버리라고. Just shake off all your worries with the exciting music. Oink. Oink. If you keep getting distracted by petty concerns like that and half-ass your part, I'm gonna use you as my instrument. Tansong. Second. We can't let some little thoughts disturb our performance already. You guys are still new, so you'll have no idea the troubles we had to go through to perform back in my day. Me, doodle do, woof, hee ha. Oh, okay. Me, doodle do, woof, and hee ha formed this band and devoted all our all of our time to music so that we could recreate the beautiful, beautiful performance we listened to on that fateful day. So quit gawking and concentrate on the music. Pianist Oh. Oh. The pianist's performance. Yes, I know. Oh. 나도 그때 그 감미로운 연주를 잊지 못해서 세븐 삼구에 딱 사직서를 내고 음악대에 들어왔지. I left the Seven Association Section Three and joined this band because I just couldn't forget that sweet melody. 내 모든 걸 내려놓고서라도 그런 연주를 직접 해보고 싶었어. I wanted to make music like oh my god I wanted to make music like that myself even if it meant I have to give up everything I had. 그래. 도시 전체에 울렸던 그 환상적인 선율을 떠올려 보라고. Yeah, remember the enchanting tune that echoed through the whole city. 10만여 명의 사람들로 이루어진 거대하고 웅장한 피아노. 
That grand and majestic piano made of 100,000 people. The lovely sound created from each stroke of the tendons. It made me realize how beautiful the sounds a human can make in the hands of the right performer. Especially the ensemble with fixers at the finale. At the end of that intense concerto, the fixers became one with the piano and assimilated into the music. How I wish I could have been there. Ahem, speaking as someone who watched the performance right at the scene, the finale was so wonderful, you know? The musical score and notes literally unraveled before my eyes. The fixers ran across the score and charged at the pianist. They were buried under the notes one by one, their bodies blowing up. But they couldn't die there. They became part of the piano, spewing out fragrant notes. And the last fixer standing was taken apart carefully, making the most splendid sound imaginable as gorgeous red notes scattered from their body. <laughs> yes, that performance. The heavenly music that pierced me. Well, but then the black silence intervened and cut off the pianist's hands and head. Okay. I wanted to be a part of that performance too. Ugh, I'm so jealous. I had to sit in my office and listen to the music coming from a distance. Boo-hoo. I want to do it too. I want to make music that's half as good as the pianists. But look at me, okay. But look at me. No matter how much I smash the ankle bones, pluck the tendons, and scrape flesh from the splint bones of my instruments, I can't even get close to it. <laughs> And he and Toodle do said things. No, Oink. There's no need to be so impatient. It's true that we still have a long way to go before we can perform like the pianist did. But we are getting close, you see. If we pour our heart and soul into our performance every day, we'll be able to make it one day. The performance by Doodle Doo, Hee Haw, and Woof was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah, the three gave a fantastic performance. They went on a trip to prepare for the next, so we won't get to hear it again for a while, though. <sighs> It was. Will I get to perform like that someday? Of course. 
Let's discuss this again after we finish this performance and handle the library job Hee-haw gave us. She said there's going to be a performance bigger than ever. And we might find new instruments in the library, you know? Yeah. I'm excited to see that performance Hee Haw mentioned. Let me see. Aha! Why don't we perform in a supermarket next time? Oink likes supermarkets, right? I'm in too. It's fun to mess around with all kinds of instruments in supermarkets. <laughs> Thanks, Meow. Thanks, Moo Moo. I'll practice harder. Alright. Gear up, everyone. Pianist and Chugosoto. Looks like the pianist left a whole bunch of nut jobs in its wake. From Break and Ruin, the most beautiful performance begins. What? Are you interested in listening to pianist's music? No way. I've heard that kind of music more than enough times. <laughs> hmm, who could I possibly think of that is annoying and also likes to play music? There was another dotty musician like the pianist? It's similar, but not exactly the same. How about you? Did you hear the pianist's music yourself? Duh. It'd be a lot faster to count the people in the city that didn't hear that damn sound. Its music didn't just pierce me. It almost ravaged my whole being, and then... Never mind. I don't want to remember that performance again. Anyway, musicians are all multo vivas in the head, one way or another. They seem to love performance that leads to their doom, indeed. Guess they're living in their own world that no one else can understand. Cat goes, meow, meow. Pig goes. Oink, oink. Rabbit goes. <laughs> squeak, squeak. This is so sad. Greetings, dear guests. I am the direct... Mumu, don't be so down. But rabbits don't have any signature cry sounds. Then we can make one. Good idea. <laughs> what a load of nonsense. Why are you just standing there, bluey hair? Aren't you gonna let us in? Stupid little machine. Don't keep your guests waiting. What? Haha, <laughs> look at it stumble. It's got red blood too? It can bleed, but the inside is still just a bunch of metallic junk. Not a good vibe. I'm surprised they were able to hurt her. Wasn't that like her whole shtick? They can't do damage to her or whatever? Hurry up and let us in before we break your legs. Uh-oh. Oh, Christ. Okay. Oh, we're gonna lose. <laughs> Alright. Well, at the start of the attack... Oh no, they started act. Give one strength to two random allies. After a successful blunt, inflict one fragile to a random enemy. Okay. 
Uh, on a successful blunt attack, deal one to two bonus damage to target after a successful blunt attack. Okay, yeah. At the start of the act, give one feeble to two random enemies. Yikes. Unforgettable melody. Combat start. Give one strength to two random enemies. God, this is going to be such an annoying fight. A part of me doesn't want to take it with the team. I don't think they've... I don't think that these are... I don't think these are the ones, I'll be honest. I think this is I think this is a task for another floor. 79 Christ. 77? Oh my god. Team? We only have one floor. So basically if we don't do it right now, we don't do it. Hey team. Team? Team team. Team team team. You gotta try harder than you ever tried before. Alright? Harder than you have ever tried, team. Hey. Good luck, Henry. <laughs> Good luck. Try your best. Um, see what happens. Good start. It's actually not a bad start. That wasn't good, but... Oi. Henry is dead. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Uh huh. Give it to. Let's give it to Rachel since she's the only one alive right now, and Henry's gonna die. Okay, you gotta deflect some of his attacks. Who else is targeting him? You've got that one. You gotta get this one. It's actually such a bad card to use right now. This is gonna be a better one. And then you're hitting him too, but we're just gonna have to let that one happen, aren't we? Nobody else is able to deflect it unless she can get there in time, but I doubt it. Bye, Henry. I'm sorry. You did some good damage, Malkuth. I'm proud of you. This is the one I want to take out first. If we can do that, then I'm I'm feeling better. Henry's back. Henry's okay. This could be a tough fight. This is gonna be a tough fight. Rachel, you're we're kind of relying on you a lot right now. Look, I need you all over here. Yeah, and I don't want anybody hitting Henry right now. Like, if possible, nobody hit Henry. But it looks like we're still gonna have one. Unless you can do this, which... No, you can't, because you're the same. It'd have to be Rachel, but I need Rachel doing damage over here. That's fine. Continue to do damage to this one, I guess. <laughs> it's... It's better than nothing, I guess. All right, team. Good try, Rachel. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Henry, stagger. Thank you. Ah, the man, the myth, the legend. He's gonna die, but look. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who's still, who's, who's, who's doing the best right now? It's Malkuth. Oh, Malkuth is staggered. Oof, I forgot. You gotta kill her. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough energy either. Everybody go for this. Look, if we can take her out, then we'll be okay. She's probably just gonna die. Okay, good work, good work. That's fine. You're gonna take some damage. We're okay. We're alright. Okay. We got two more. Okay, everybody, uh, you know the plan. Try and keep Henry alive, if possible. You have no one cost, you have one cost. Yeah, sure, let's see what happens. 
No, Henry. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Bye, team. Oh, things are looking bad. Keep her alive. Keep her alive. <gasps> Malkuth! Malkuth, this is why we like you! Malkuth, you're amazing. Oh. Oh, it's amazing. We won. We won, but just barely. Okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You're out of cards. That's okay. Try and... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is gonna be a close one. This is gonna be a real close one. Rachel? God, that's such a bad card. Is really come down to the fence. Oh. oh my god, they obliterated each other. Oh my god. Oh, what a fight. What a fight. What a fight. Oh my god. Oh man, my heart is pounding after that one. That was a close fight. That was a close fight. What in the Angela? What's going on? That's blood. I thought you were a pure machine. 그러게. 게다가 원래 몸이라면 이 정도 충격은 영향을 주지 않을 텐데. I'm surprised as well. That much impact shouldn't have made me flinch either. 맞은 곳은 괜찮아? You all right? Does it hurt bad? 아직 문제는 없어. 하지만 맞는다는 것은 굉장히 아픈 거네. I'm still fine. Now I see how much it hurts to get hit. 설마 진짜 인간에 가까워지고 있는 거야? Could it be that you're getting closer to being human? 자유에 가까워지는 모습 중 하나겠지. 걱정할 필요 없는 수준이야. It may be one of the signs that I'm approaching my freedom. There's no need to be worried just yet. God, that... What a hard fight. What a hard fight. We didn't even get anything from it. I mean, we got stuff from it, like, we didn't get any, any good from it. Part of me wants to burn one of these. Hopefully we get one of her pages, that'd be nice. It's green. Page? No. That's okay. That fight sucked. I think we're gonna call it an episode, too. This one's getting a little bit long, and... Well... I don't want to push my luck too much. We have to do this one again. I have to do this one again a couple of times. I want to get that, uh, I want to get that page. I want to get her page. It's another, it's another dice slot. It's nice. And it overall has some good, I mean, giving two strength is nice. Well, giving two strength overall, but one, one each. That's not bad. And inflicting fragile is nice. I mean, if we put all of these together on one, That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty good. But with that, we are going to call it an episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Uh, actually, I do have something uh, to talk about before this episode ends. So, for those of you who keep up with it, uh, you know that the Hades series is coming to a close somewhat of a relatively short amount of time. Um, 
I'd say that there's about uh, three or four more episodes, give or take, until we're done with it completely. So that's not much time. Um, that's about six days since we on off with Darkest Dungeon. Uh, and so the time to replace it has come. Now, I have a couple of things in mind, but it's going to depend, one, on this first primary question that I'm going to ask. And if you could just respond to it in a comment, that would be wonderful. If not, that's completely fine, too. Um, basically, I am torn between two things. One, I have been considering doing a horror game for the channel. Um, I have a bunch on my computer that... I have been meaning to play and haven't gotten around to, or that I have played before and want to play again. So, basically the option is, would you like to see a horror game, or would you like to see, like, one of the regular kinds of games that we see, like, um, I mean, not necessarily a, like, a roguelite, but, you know, just something along the lines of, like, what we'd be seeing. Like, uh, I had a couple of games in mind, like, Nier is one of them, Dragon's Dogma is another one, something like that. Um, so would you rather see option one, horror game? Option two, not horror game. <laughs> um, if you could respond to that, that would be fantastic. And then from there, uh, I think I'm going to pick which one this time. I know that we did uh, the vote last time for Darkest Dungeon. I think this time it's going to be it's going to be a pick of my choice. So yeah, with that, uh, we are in fact going to conclude it. So thank you all for watching, uh, and so long, everybody.